viewing audience, I'm Tom Romito of the Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society. I'm sitting here at the Cleveland Lakefront Nature Preserve with Wendy Wyrick of Cleveland Metro Parks and WCAS member Tim Colborn. Welcome to this short interview, Wendy and Tim. I'd like to ask you two questions, and the first one is, what value would you say that Western Cuyahoga Audubon has provided to uh, this part of Ohio in the past? Oh, Tom, my thought on that is that uh, the WCAS organization has been focused on helping its members understand the value of the natural world and its connection to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it has uh, provided opportunities for being out in uh, the wild, um, enjoying wild places and wild things, among them uh, birds and mammals, uh, plants. Uh, and continues to talk about the focus on conserving all of those things for uh, the foreseeable future with all of us in it. Tim, could you please give us a couple of examples of, of those kinds of initiatives? Uh, well, from an education perspective, the speaker series at WCAS provides every month providing insight and information into some topic related to the natural world. Um, there have been plenty of conservation efforts as well. Uh, their support of natural places in the Northeast Ohio area, as well as um, breeding bird surveys, uh, mm -hmm. Christmas bird counts, citizen science that supports the, uh, the kinds of things that we're all interested in. Thanks, Tim. Wendy, from your vantage point as an executive with Cleveland Metro Parks, how do you see what WCAS having ad added value to the public? I mean, in addition to what Tim has already said, it's, it's, a, it's a place where people of like minds can come together and share their ideas, bring their energies together, and create really great products out of it, like the Breeding Bird Survey, or, or things that will be perennial. You know, these, the, the results that came from just that Breeding Bird Survey alone is something that we can we're going to reap for generations to come. This is information that's really important for us to have in order to make decisions, in order to to move forward. So, I think the, the, these like minds coming together is really something powerful. And you know, in a world where so many people are connecting via uh, screens and internet, there's something powerful about humans coming together and being together, and then coming up with these ideas where we can get together and change the world. Thanks, Wendy. Well, my second question is, going forward, we, we want to uh, give WCAS a reason to continue to exist besides our, our normal activities of presentations and, and field trips. So what um, value do you think we could add to the public as time goes forward, Tim and Wendy? I mean, I, I think it's it, it, to build on what we've kind of already said is that we can do more together than we can apart. You know, that, yeah. that this, we have to be more than just meetings and field trips. We have to have this purpose of saving the planet. It's not, it's not any less than that. You know, it has to be these like minds coming together to make change and to flex our muscle and to speak. You know, so that we can become better informed about the issues, so that we can vote better, so that we can send the message out to the world um, about what we believe in, and um, that's what we can do together. When we need to be viable going into the future. Thanks so much. Yeah, I, I agree with Wendy. I think that uh, the sense of community is mm -hmm. uh, paramount, uh, and I think. Um, through that, we can achieve levels of conservation. We, we have to achieve levels of conservation that we haven't been able to before. And it's only through our collective efforts that we can get there. And um, a, a, a structure like the WCAS and similar organizations can really support that kind of community and those efforts to get us to a point where we are making a difference um, to going beyond the education and the activities that we all enjoy, but to go to conservation activities that will sustain that enjoyment uh, through uh, the, the future years to come. So, it sounds like our mission as we go forward is to help make the planet better for birds, wildlife, 
and, and the habitat that everybody enjoys. That's right. Well, thank you, listening audience. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you on Tuesday, November the 6th at Western Rocky River Nature Center.